on another note, though, Choke, you know we got to go trending topics in this thing. You know, uh, Janelle Monet, she just jumped out here with some old music. And some and some. She got some of the best looking ones in uh, hip hop or the industry right now. What were your thoughts when Janelle Monet, who went from dressing up as a bus driver every day, <laughs> decided to let it all hang out? She made she did more than let it all hang out. Mm. Janelle Monet came into the the game. I was one of the first people and from New York. Mm-hmm. I know she started out with Big Boy down here. Yeah. But Big Boy brought her to New York to R and B Spotlight. Mm. That's where she got her deal with Bad Boy. Yeah. She came up there because uh we had this thing in New York called um R and B Wednesdays or something at this club called Spotlight. Yeah. And all the R and B artists would go with the new ones would go there and perform and they would have all the execs in the building, mm-hmm. you know, the Puffies and all these, uh, Andre Harrells and all these, you know, anybody that had, was working at a label, all the labels were there Yeah, to see the new talent. She came up there dressed like you said, like a bus driver with, you know, her suit, the black and white suit she used to always have. And it was different. She had the little flip thing in the front yeah. in her hair. And she could dance, she would sing, she was talented. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I said, Shorty's a star, because I know a star when I see one. Yeah. Right? Janelle Monet gets off the stage. Everybody's going crazy. I walk over to her, I pull her to the side. I say, and Janelle Monet, I don't know if you remember this or not, but I pull her to the side and I say, listen, you getting signed. You are going to get signed. Do not sign shit until you ask, until you get everything that you ask for. Don't worry about it. Ask for the moon. You already got a deal. You good. Yeah. You signed. You know what I'm saying? But do not sign that paper until they give you everything that you ask for. Because you don't, you just won. Mm-hmm. I told her that. That day, I told her that. Mm. So... Her image back then, it wasn't feminine. Mm-hmm. You know, she looked, uh, her parents, she was a beautiful girl. Yeah. She was an attractive girl from the neck up mm-hmm. because she wasn't showing her body. Yeah. She didn't need to because she was talented. Mm-hmm. Not saying that she need to now, but clearly, uh, she needed a boost, mm. right? So to see her go as this conscious sister where I don't have to sell sex to be successful, I admired her. Mm-hmm. She didn't even have on a skirt, a dress. Mm-hmm. And people accepted her for who she was. And I love that about her mm-hmm. because at the time, you got the Little Kims. You got, you know, they we coming off of that era of, yeah. you know what I'm saying, the raunchiness. And here she come, like, yo, you can get on this stage and you don't have to show your ass. You don't have to show your titties. You don't have to talk about sex. And you can be successful. That's who she was. Mm-hmm. She set a bar. Fast forward to today, not only did... She exploit her body. Her ass is out now. Her titties is out now. And she, I honestly believe that, because I know she did doing the Josephine Baker story. Mm. I believe she is. Prepping for that. No. they. I think they did the movie. Oh, okay. I think she lost herself oh, in that role. Shit. And feel liberated now because Josephine Baker was fucking with yeah. women. Yeah. And men. You know what I'm saying? And she was just this free spirit did it yeah. type of person. Cause I had to research Josephine Baker yeah. to understand why is Janelle Monet acting like this? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know the Josephine Baker story is getting ready to come. So let me research Josephine Baker. So for the last, since Joe, Janelle Monet came out like this, 
I've been researching Josephine Baker. I watched all her old shit. Mm -hmm. I watched documentaries on her. There it is. Janelle Monet is Tupac in Above the Rim and Juice. Mm. Nigga, you ain't no gangster. But those roles Turns got, out. got your, your in the, to your head that you got your ass killed, nigga. Mm. So Janelle Monet right now is, in my opinion, somewhat caught up between who she was and Josephine Baker. But remember, there were young girls that you inspired with the suit that you told them you didn't have to do this. So you went from Hannah Montana to Molly Cyrus. The innocent Hannah Montana to now you got your Molly Cyrus with your motherfucking tongue out, ass out, acting out. So now where do you go from here? What you going to sell next? So I honestly think that she was softening the blow for what we are about to see in the Josephine Baker story.